Hola, hola, bienvenidos, bienvenidas. Welcome to a new session, a new episode of the World's Cross Toolbox. Today, from the beautiful city of Buenos Aires, Argentina, my name is Juan, and behind the cameras, Vicky and Siriana from the World's Cross staff. ¿Cómo están, ladies? Woo! Woo! <laughs> so, guys, today we're going to talk about an important uh, topic in the Spanish grammar. We're going to talk about the imperative mood. The imperative mode is easy, and it's easy because you have it in English too. So it's, it's something that should that could be natural for you. Okay. Basically, we know that uh, we use imperative mood uh, to make commands, right? To to like order something, like to give orders, right? For example, siéntate. For example. Okay, don't say this because it's rude. Cállate, like shut up, come on. You shouldn't say that. Um, vámonos, let's go, right? And basically, when, how do we use uh, imperative? It's pretty simple. We can use it in simple present, right? We should, we have to use it in the second person, in singular, right? Uh, and maybe the first person, plural but no more than that, okay guys? And then we have to basically conjugate the verb, we should conjugate it, okay? We, you can take a look at these examples right here. <laughs> okay, so guys, the best way to, to practice imperative mood is with, for example, recipes, when you're cooking, when you're watching a cooking show, and all these actions, those verbs uh, that we use to cook, like for example, hierve, Mezcla, bate, hornea, cocina, corta, pica, eh, mezcla. All of those are conjugating an imperative mood. So it's, it's a pretty easy and pretty fun way to, to, to practice your imperative mood. I really love cooking. And Vicky, do you, do you cook? Do you usually cook? I cook a little, yeah. yeah. You, you make commands like uh, you would use the imperative mood like cooking? While cooking? If you're telling someone how to do it, then yes, you use commands. And when you're reading a recipe, it's always written in imperative mode. That, that's a very that's a very good feedback, definitely. And that that's when you that when you use imperative the most. Obviously, you 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 also use it when you are having an argument. You know, like siéntate, eh, levántate, vámonos. Uh, hopefully, you won't use it that much, but. <laughs> But it's it's a very useful tool. It's a pretty use, uh, easy and it's a pretty use, easy one to use. You can take a look at the conjugation here, and you, as you can see, it is not like complicated. You can do it. And guys, if you have comments, you can leave them below. You can tell us maybe maybe if you have any specific doubt, something like this. You can always comment, and I'll see you on the next. What's the